Okay, let's tear down an everyday item. This is a four-function calculator. It uh, cost me a whopping one dollar. The back-to-school sales are on in the uh, markets, and uh, I want to see what kind of integrated circuit they put into a one dollar four-function calculator. Is it modern, or is it super ancient? So just looking at the uh, back of the assembly before I uh, take that uh, integrated circuit off, that's sitting with that blob of uh, black epoxy. Uh, there's a one and a half volt battery which powers whole assembly. There's, of course, the LCD Looks like it's tape automated bonded uh, on the left hand side and then there's a capacitor that's the other sole electronic component of the assembly just zooming in here you can see there's obviously some incredibly dreadful workmanship not entirely sure what went on uh, obviously the uh, capacitor was soldered by hand and uh, looks like someone felt the need to scrape some of the solder resist off i don't know if they made a mistake on the uh, layout of the little circuit board and they had to make a change there or what was going on uh, no matter, let's uh, take a peek at the uh, integrated circuit. Okay, well here's the entire die as a single photograph. And uh, the first thing you really note is just how primitive uh, this process node is. It's probably in the uh, micrometers, uh, even though the industry is well moved into nanometers now at the very leading edge. It's kind of a surprise at the very bottom end. I presume there must be some fabs out there fully capitalized who uh, crank out ancient designs day in and day out. And they, uh, of course, can make some money. Uh, let's see, obviously the bond wires on the outside there, the uh, square green pads. Uh, sort of zooming into the side there, it's kind of interesting. There's a very repetitive pattern. Uh, I'm pretty sure that kind of H-looking shape is uh, some ESD protection diodes, basically reversed uh, bias diodes uh, that can handle a uh, one kilovolt uh, spike and uh, prevent the silicon in the die from uh, being damaged. Uh, let's zoom back out uh, in the center there, a very regular pattern. If you count closely, you can see that uh, there are 12 of those gray boxes. Um, I presume that uh, this is the uh, register that holds the contents of the calculator. The reason we're seeing two, I presume one of course is to the actual display and the other one's the, uh, the computational uh, ALU. It's an eight digit calculator, but of course you have to maintain a number of uh, more digits internally uh, so you don't end up with some really obvious uh, rounding errors. Uh, coming down to the bottom of the chip there, those big uh, uh, square and rectangles, those are uh, capacitors almost Undoubtedly, um, the chip itself has to have some sort of way of creating an oscillator or a timing circuit. So I presume there has to be some sort of oscillator sitting there on the bottom of the chip. Uh, in the center portion there, the of course uh, steering logic to actually do the calculations, the, the basically the heart of the calculator. And then on top there, I presume those must be some sort of uh, structure to uh, drive the LCD display. So. Um, not unexpected, I suppose. You don't need a lot of gates to create a calculator, but what does amaze me to this day still um, is just how old this design is. And of course, it's uh, in production. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it dates back 30 years, this particular uh, IC.